Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Yeshim, Yahweh Shah, by Yeshim, Wakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the others that rule well. And peace and blessings to you brothers out there that's kicking his words, sincerity, also in truth. Um, you know, when you um have sheep or have flock, you know, it's very important that they're getting the proper uh, nutrition in order for them to grow. Even uh, when you're, um, you know, uh, planting certain things, you know, you have to make sure that a, that particular crop, case in point, like wheat, corn, you know, things of that nature, they're getting the proper um, nutrition that they need for, for, for them to grow. You know, and now not every uh, a particular crop or even cattle is going to need the same, you know, uh, type of nu nutrition. You know, so, you know, we're liking as to sheep of Yahweh Shai. And it's very important that, uh, you know, we are feeding the sheep properly. You know, it's going to take, and, and, and within us doing that, it's going to take us, you know, uh, feeding them in various ways. Now, I had the word nutrition, and I wanted to pull this out for edification. Now, this is the word nutrition, uh, no, uh, not nutrition, excuse me. Uh, nourishment, salaki. I had nutrition on my mind, but I meant to say nourishment. Uh, that word nourishment is a noun. It says uh, the the food or other substances necessary for growth, health, and good condition. So my question is this: Are you giving the uh, the, the sheep or the flock uh, proper nourishment? Meaning, you know, when you're teaching. You're not only teaching about you know one particular topic, but you're diversifying you know what your what your sit downs are about. And uh, um, what what inspired me um to do this particular sit down as I'm as I'm speaking, I'm thinking about the apostle uh, Tahar, and he goes into so many different uh, topics in feeding the flock, you know, which is very necessary. You know, not only does he go into history. He goes into, uh, you know, uh, admonishment and not only admonishing, but exhorting, teaching you how to get a job. There's so many different topics that he comes up with, you see, that, and that that shows you that that's a that's a great teacher. You know, case in point, somebody who's um, a good boxer, you know, or an excellent boxer, you know, that excellent boxer. You know, he's going to do more things than somebody who's just mediocre, somebody who's, who just has a good jab. Well, he might uh, uh, have a have a, uh, a, a pool, a counterattack, you know, counterattack, good foot, uh, uh, good footing. You know, all the things make him excellent because he do he does those little things that other fighters don't do. You see what I'm saying? And then here at GMS, we're striving for excellency. So. Let's go ahead and dive into some uh, some scriptures. Now, this is Yahweh Shah talking to uh, Peter. He said, um, John 21 and 15. So when they had dined, Yahweh Shah said, saith to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my lambs. Now, well, quickly, let's look up that word feed. This is one of my favorite uh, scriptures, boy school. And it says to feed, but train the duty of a Christian teacher to promote in every way the spiritual welfare of the members of the church. So in all aspects, you're teaching, you know, you're not only teaching, um, you know, about prophecy, which is huge prophecy. You know, it's a huge indicator that you had the spirit of Yahweh Shasu. You know, I'm not, you know, minimizing uh, or negating the importance of a prophecy. But, when you, you know, also, you know, you're teaching about various things. You're, you're teaching about history. You think you're teaching about, you know, uh, you know, uh, character building. You know what I'm saying? You're teaching about current events. You know, a brother that does that beautifully. Those those two latter things that I just named is the Edo Ariala, man. You know, he uh, has a series of, you know, of, uh, you know, character building that's very, very, very edifying. 
And also he goes into current events and he breaks it down to 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 a point to where you can understand what he's bringing out. You understand what he's saying, man. You see what I'm saying? You know, and not not only that, but he, he brings out other topics. You see. And, I'm, you know, and of course, other brothers do it, too. But, you know, we have to make sure that, 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 that we're bringing out various topics, you know, saying not not because, you know, I'm saying it, but because it's good for the body. Remember, the goal is to teach, you know, not do, you know, something that I was thinking about yesterday. Do you want to be heard or do you want to be understood through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai? And we want to be understood, you know, because why? We're conveying the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. That's what's important, you know. Let's get to the next script. Second Peter 2. Uh, second Peter, Second Timothy, excuse me, three and sixteen. All Scripture. And let me change this. Second Timothy three and sixteen. All Scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High and is profitable, profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. You see, so the doctrine, so so the the uh, Scriptures are encompasses so many things. You know, that's good for the flock, you know, that that nourishment that we're talking about, because quite frankly, people, brothers out there are dealing with things, but with various uh, uh, ailments, you know, most most of them are mental, you know, that and some are, are actually physical, you know. But I'm bringing that out to say this brothers are dealing with different situations and they might need different these they need these they need these these various topics, you know, in order to refine themselves. And as a teacher, that's what we have to do. We, 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 well, we have to give them what they need. You see what I'm saying? We have to give them what they need. You know? Uh, that the man of the Most High may be perfect, through furnished, uh, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. And let's go to the next scripture. And we need the next chapter. And it says Second Timothy 4. I charge thee, therefore, before the Most High, and 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 uh, the Lord Yahweh Shaimashiach, who shall judge the quick and the dead at at, at his at, at his appearing in in his kingdom, preach the word, be instant in season, and out of season, rebuke, but uh, reprove, rebuke, slake, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after uh, their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. So that time is coming to where, you know, that line in the, in the sand is going to be drawn. It's gonna be, you're going to have a lot of people out there that's not going to want to listen to what we're saying. That spirit that the... Uh, the uh, famine of the word is going to kick in, you see. So why the harvest is plentiful, what do we need to be doing? Well, we need to, you know, be watering the crops, you know, properly. You know, giving the crops what they need. You know, certain plants, if, you know, they don't require as much as water as another plant, you know, or conversely, um, or uh, conversely would be in is incorrect to use or uh, in addition they might not need certain sunlight and much sunlight as as another uh plant you see what i'm saying why is that because the plants are different and that's the same thing with brothers brothers are different so brothers need various things you see what i'm saying and one thing that we all need though is, is that prophecy which is very important you see Verse uh, verse five. But watch thou in all things in dear affliction, do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry. Let's look up that word evangelist. Let's look up the word evangelist. You'd be surprised about what it says. And that word evangelist is a yo uh, yo and yo and gle si 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 ta ta si. Yo, 
Yo Glacy Glacy Yo Angel Listasi. Yo Angel Listasi. Uh it says uh, a bringer of good tidings and an evangelist. The name given to the New Testament heroes of salvation through to Mashiach who are not apostles. So those are all those people that are under the apostles, man. The elders, you see what I'm saying? On down. We are evangelists. You see, what are we supposed to be doing? We're supposed to be out there teaching and spreading the good news, man. You see, varying what we're talking about, you know. Admonishing brothers, you know, lifting up brothers, giving brothers uh, uh, historical facts, all the above. You see what I'm saying? It's very important, you know, for the for the nourishment of the body. You know, let's get this Hebrews, Hebrews four. I'm gonna start eleven. Now this is Hebrews uh, four and eleven. Let Let's get this sloppy. Move this back. Hebrews 4 and 11. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest, lest any man fall, uh, fall after the same example of unbelief. For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. And neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight, but all that all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him uh, with whom we have to do. Seeing that, seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passing to the heavens, Yahweh Shai, the son of the Most High, let us hold fast our profession. You know, so it says there that the, that the, uh, um, this, this, the, the scriptures are, you know, are, are discerning, uh, are, uh, is a discerner of the, of the scripture, of, of the soul, you see, and able to, uh, uh, you know, manifest, you know, what's in a man's, uh, uh, live, if you will, or mine, you know, and able to do what, and able to reprove that person, and with that understanding, what do we do? Well, we supposed to hold fast to that profession of ours, this profession of ours, you see, and build brothers up, tear them down if need need be, give them historical truths, you see, toil in this thing, and there's many different ways to toil, you know. Sometimes you get stuck like, hey, what am I going to talk about? You know, I already brought this 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 subject out or brought that subject out. If you need scriptures, man, there's so many different ways and so many, you know, you know, you bring out one topic and so many topics to bring out, you know. So this is, is just encouraging. This is just encouraging for to, uh, to brothers just to you know, bring out, you know, uh, challenge yourself to bring out various topics, man. You know what I'm saying? Now you you might have a you might be in the spirit to bring out a particular topic you want you know what I'm saying concept which is nothing wrong with that I don't want brothers to think you know you know oh you know to negate your your lot because some brothers have lots of encouragement some brothers have a lot of history some brothers have a lot of you know say admonishment you know what I'm saying but for the edification of the body you know bring it make sure you're bringing out various topics brothers. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders that rule well. And peace and blessings to you brothers out there that's kicking his word. Sincerity, Yahshua and truth. Shalom.